Hey YouTube, this is really badass coming at you with a live commentary. Now, I, this is a 10 minute gameplay, so the first um, live com I did of this, it ended up recording on my webcam, so it sounded absolutely horrible. <laughs> so, let's hopefully not screw it up again. Um, okay. So basically what I want to talk about in this is a little bit about my channel and then go into where I started in Call of Duty. So basically my channel guys, Sucking Fun Days is tomorrow so you guys will be getting that then Witch's House. Hopefully we can wrap it up, wrap up things by the end of the week. Maybe if um, Ghost Funnies and Fails next week. Oh, actually for sure. And yeah, so that's my plan for next week. But we'll talk about that more in some Sucking Fun Days. So what I wanted to talk about was um, where I came from COD. So. I started off as a Halo guy, Halo 1 and Halo 2. I had an original Xbox I won from a contest and basically I gotta say it was pretty, um, it was really weird because I played in private matches on Halo 1 and Halo 2 doing things like glitches, like super jump glitches and um, just random stuff like that. So that was where I came from. Then I realized that Wow, er, at that point I didn't realize that you can actually hook up the Xbox to internet. Then my friend next door got a um, Xbox 360. We'd play a little bit over there. He had MW2, so I was like, okay, might as well. And then I tried it, and I wasn't half bad. I must say I was pretty bad. Like, um, for my age and my skill level, I, I went like 8 and 20, which I think isn't half bad for my skill level back then and yeah oh by the way a little bit of thing about this thing it's just a 1v1 and I ended up wrecking him <laughs> so back to the main topic um so I play a little bit of that and we play Halo 3 online and I was like man this is amazing but I totally pa I just totally passed it up and then we moved to the big island um kinda ditched some lost troubles um basically it was a it was really nice up there we were off the grid though so we couldn't get internet and basically if we did it'd have to be plugged in through a little usb thing and it would run at literally less than a one bar that's how bad it would be on black ops 2 it probably wouldn't even show my bar that's how bad it was so we were off the grid we didn't have any internet we did have electricity but we didn't have water we had to like provide our own water so basically we got this giant sewage thing that's like 5,000 gallons and we just kinda um, we had it sit and it rained a lot on the big island so we had that anyways onwards from that so no internet up there like huh that's pretty weird okay really bad is not having internet how did I play games still yet guys private matches private matches private matches private matches it was really boring and I played COD 3 um, <laughs> but I remember the mission where the guy was taking a leak and you had to go behind him and melee him that was my most favorite mission well that I have a most favorite mission from every COD but that was my favorite from COD 3 so basically you have that and um, how should I explain this? Uh, so I didn't play any Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2 as much, um, or World at War in that case. So don't be asking me too much about those games, but everything after Black Ops 1 you can ask me. Um, so I started playing Black Ops 1 when I, f when we moved to Washington, which was in 2010, I believe. We moved to Big Island in 2008. So 2010 came along and... I was like, ooh, this is cool, we have the Wii, and I figured out Call of Duty was for the Wii. I forget where, I think I just saw it on like a trailer thing. And I was like, is Call of Duty for the Wii? So I got it, and it was Black Ops 1. I just remember playing so much wager matches and stuff, um, getting into a few modded lobbies, but, you know, it wasn't well, like, developed for um, preventing hackers, and, yeah, it just kind of, I wouldn't say ruined the game, but you know um it just kind of had some flaws in the game so onwards from that um i played that a lot not too much as much as i do today and then um because i used to skate back then and stuff like that so aside from that after that um i wanted a ps3 i wanted to ramp it up 
And PS3 is amazing. Like, I, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, and I was actually, I, re I wanted the PS3 and Xbox. I didn't care which one. So, um, the Christmas of MW3. I got MW3 for the um, Wii on release day. It was, like, the moment it came out. Like, the day it came out, I went to go get it. And I do that about all my CODs ever since. So, I got that, and I was like, okay, this is amazing. I just started talking to my dad recently. Um, you guys haven't, I don't think met him, but... Anyways, um, my dad, um, we, we just started talking again, and basically... He got me MW3, Whoa. and he was like, is this for the wrong console? Oh, Whoa. darn. And I was like, and then he started nudging me, and I was like, oh, okay, okay. Oh, no, it's okay. I'll go return it after Christmas and get my refund. So, I, as you guys can tell, I ended up getting a PS3 for Christmas, um, 2010 or 2011, I forget. So, and I got MW3 with that, and I was like, yes. So, I ranked up. I, I was just rolling and rolling with everything. And the whole MW3, I had the PS3. It was no doubt. And I was so happy to finally play it and actually experience on a console. And it was amazing at first, guys. I loved it. And I didn't think of doing anything like this before that. So I'm just over there playing games, sitting on the couch with my PS3. So the then, the after MW3, after all the Moabs I got, and people don't believe me when I say I got a lot of Moabs, but I got a lot of Moabs. Beginner's luck or something, but I got a lot. Um, so, you know, MW3 passed, you know, what happened after MW3? Black Ops 2. And so for the first few months of Black Ops 2, up until February, I ended up, or February or March, no, no, it was for my birthday, April, so from November to April, I, I played Black Ops 2 on the PS3, and, you know, I was, I, I wouldn't say I'm bad at it, but I, I didn't do as well as MW3, and I really, up to this day, I still hate Black Ops, oh, wait, 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 first off, I need to, I need to point out, that was my first death over there, um, but, I didn't like it as much as MW3, so I gotta say, I still hate it up to this day. So, alongside from all that bad stuff, um, I ended up making a YouTube channel, as you guys know. Um, one of my first videos was about me being a new commentator on YouTube, hopefully. Um, I ended up getting like 150 views, which was pretty amazing. So, <coughs> I ended up getting that, and I was like, okay. I'm gonna record YouTube on this. Um, I did like updates whenever I got subscribers. Um, I gotta say thank you to the people who gave me like a boost start at the beginning of YouTube. Like, I got like 15 subscribers right off the bat, which really helped out with my, I wouldn't say self esteem, but with my YouTube esteem. Sorry for being a little noobish with the XPR here, guys, but he was like, oh, I bet you you can't spray down with the XPR and stuff. So, um, I'm playing that, and basically, um, I started recording gameplay, as you guys know, and then my PS Vita broke, I took a long break, then, um, I finally got, like, I finally started taking, like, little face cam videos and stuff, and then I got a game cap, and I was so happy to get one, and that was still in Black Ops 2, no, 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 that was Ghost. So, Ghost came out, and I just continued Black Ops 2 normally. Ghost came out, and you guys pr pretty much know the rest. Um, I'm going to do a whole video on that, but basically, um, Ghost came out. I got my game capture. I don't know how long back, but... Um, and, by the way, my Xbox on my birthday, I had to buy it, so... Um, yeah, just a little reminder. So, I bought the Xbox on my birthday, which was in April. And yeah, it went up like that. So I got that, and then you guys know Ghost. Um, Ghost is the same, you know. Um, you guys pretty much know all of Ghost. I've been recording out through a lot of it. Um, I'm not half bad at it. It's one of my favorite Call of Duties I've ever played. So hope you guys did enjoy this little commentary. Let's kind of let the gameplay run out. Um, so tomorrow, so I can fun these guys. Um, we'll be talking more about live comms like Black Ops 2 trick shotting. Or we'll be talking about more about like trick shotting and 
um, in Black Ops 2 and why I don't really like this game. I was just doing this because he asked to 1v1 me. Or he dared that, you know, he was like 1v1 me and I was like, okay. <laughs> so I ended up spanking him. <laughs> I don't I don't mean to be mean about it, but I ended up spanking him pretty pretty good. So um, you guys can see the final score, 26 to 4. We'll, we'll watch the final kill cam. Okay, if you guys did enjoy, please like, comment down in the description what you guys want me to talk about. And subscribe for more. And YouTube, we'll see you later. Deuces. Hey,